Hello and thank you for tuning in. My name is Dr. Scott Chelson, Director of Student Transitions and Assistant Professor here at NSU College of Pharmacy. Today, I have the pleasure of being accompanied by two keynote speakers for our Leaders Speaker Series, Pharmacists Under 40. Next Monday, we'll be joined by Kimmy Stoltz, CEO and founder of Juicery RX, and Alicia Rosen, VP of Brand Development at Brand Institute Florida Team. Ladies, thank you. I appreciate you joining me today. Thanks for having Thanks us. Thanks for having us. So today we came to develop a little bit of a teaser for the event, and I know we don't want to give too much away, but I wanted to give a nice little introduction. So uh, we'll start with you, Kimmy. Uh, you are at the ju you're, you're on the Juicy RX, and I know how how many years have you on that now? It hasn't even been a year yet. And. I know that it's already booming. We're having so much talk about it around the college. There's, uh, I mean, you've heard so many things about Kimmy, vice versa. Yes. Um, they call you the nutrition lady, and uh, I, I think that's it. a good title. It's better than being called the witch doctor. So yeah. That's true. That that is definitely <laughs> true. Uh, so, let me know. For instance, what or for, I guess just be clear. What, why nutrition? Why did you pick that route? I think nutrition is something that involves everyone, not just adults, not just sick people, not just healthy people. It's everyone. Everyone has, you know, an impact when their nutrition is optimal. And I feel like I was just in a class with you maybe a couple of years ago. Yeah, exactly. And now I see you traveling the world and doing all this crazy stuff with CEOs. And uh, I just think it's amazing. And I'm honored to be next to you honestly I, I'm honored to know you in that regard and branding tell us how did you get into branding so I started uh, working as a retail pharmacist for Target in South Florida and then I moved to New York and I worked as a retail pharmacist for Walgreens and I knew that it just wasn't for me I loved helping patients I loved helping people but the hours the the schedule the you know getting up at four in the morning to drive two hours to work at a pharmacy just I knew that there was something different and there was something better out there so Actually, I got this position because I went to NSU. So fun fact is that our CEO, Jim DeTore, he works, our headquarters is in Miami, Florida, and we've had some NSU professors and faculty used to work for our company. And so when he sees NSU grad, a light bulb goes off and he says, I know that these people are actually great pharmacists and I want them to work for me. So actually, that's a huge point to make. All of us are NSU grads. Yeah. And all of us care. And I think that's the biggest thing, what you just said is, you, you know, you care, you care about the branding, you wanted to do more, you felt like you wanted to do more. And same thing with you, you felt like you can do more, you know, you felt like your hand wasn't in the right pot, you know, you were, and you were, you were doing so much in nutrition before yes. and helping so many lives out. When somebody walks into your location now, mm -hmm. what can they expect? Well, they're going to look up on the board and wonder what is all this gibberish that's on the board. And you know, the really cool concept is it's an apothecary inspired juice bar. So it takes you back to how pharmacists used to take care of patients, which was individualized, you know, and personalized medicine is such, you know, an incredible field of medicine right now. And that's what we're trying to do, except with nutrition. So someone walks in, right, I talk to them and create something just for them. So personalized juice, you know, and, and coming from where all of our, our vitamins and minerals do come from the food. Absolutely. And I think that's amazing. And I know that you work with patients with medications as well. When they're on medications, you're able to understand exactly what they're on, no interactions. So we won't get too far in depth in that. I'll let you, I'll, I'll let everybody hear you live with that. Um, when it comes to branding, I mean, here at NSU, we're working with you to develop a new brand. How amazing, would you ever think you'd be sitting, first of all here, both of you sitting here, you know, about to speak to students and talk to them about your success yet far? I mean, definitely not. We were currently working uh, with the College of Pharmacy to develop some sort of brand. I won't say what yet, because it's not, you know, Teaser there. for the teaser. A little teaser for the <laughs> teaser. But I have to say is that we work with a lot of pharmaceutical companies. And as a pharmacist, it's really rewarding because we get to come up with their brand names. So we have to learn a lot about regulatory, a lot about marketing. And we also have to make sure that these names don't sound like or look like anything that's out there in the market. So that's something that the pharmacist background has to come into play, as well as marketing and branding is a whole new language that we actually have to learn and practice. Absolutely. Well, really, really, I guess you could say important question here, and I'd like both of you to answer. What was the turning point? Uh, you know what? We'll save it for the event. 
I hope you guys can join us. I appreciate both of you being here today. Looking forward to both of you on Monday. Monday from 12 to 1. I hope to see everybody there. Make sure you RSVP. We're gonna have a great day, great talks with both of these, and maybe one day you'll be part of the uh, speaker series as well. Bye.